Oregon and Washington, more than 9,000 firefighters battled 27 fires across both of those states. One of those firefighters will soon be a man from our area traveling across the country to lend a hand. 13 News reporter Cassandra Brettel introduces us. Traveling more than 2,000 miles to Oregon, where wildfires ravaged the state, Dave Voiles was a long way from his home in Morrison. There is a lot of smoke, a lot of haze. So the sun is kind of an orange ball rather than a regular sun. Um, you can definitely smell the smoke. A volunteer for eight years, Voiles is no stranger to heading into a disaster area. He is one of those volunteers that is really like a jack of all trades. On this trip... Boils will deliver meals to families that are displaced from the fires. It's great when you can get out in the field, see what kind of impact it's had on the community, and interface with the clients. And uh, it helps them feel better to know that people are there um, talking with them, helping them out. It's a strenuous job, but it's so rewarding. Uh, volunteers like Dave, they're like all around the country. Um, and when the need is there, they really don't think about themselves. Um, they're just ready to go out and help. Boyles is part of a team of more than 30 emergency response vehicles that will help thousands who lost their homes in the fires. You get to um, experience different communities. You get to see segments of society that maybe I wouldn't typically um, encounter. And while Boyles says the long hours sometimes take a toll, he says every deployment offers new insights. It just helps me understand uh, the world and the people in it uh, much better. That's usually what I get out of these. Providing a little bit of relief when families need it most. For your 13 Weather Authority, Cassandra Brettel, 13 News. And Boyle says Red Cross deployments are two weeks minimum. He says he's long as he is feeling healthy, he will stay there as long as needed. If you would like to volunteer but don't want to travel across the country, the Red Cross says you can do so while staying home. Virtual opportunities are available. And wildfires aren't the only natural disaster facing our country right now for the second time ever. The National